one of the main things I'm, I'm contracted to do is look, to look at the hazel gloves, which is a very nice um, orange fungus. Uh, it looks like little rubber gloves clasping the, the, the hazel stems. But what I'm looking at as well, as I'm going through these, these woodlands, are the lichens. And the lichens are pretty good in a lot of these woods. Um, I mean, the, the west coast, Argyle in particular, um, also like Arbor, but particularly Argyle, is absolutely fantastic for lichens. Um, it's got different suites of species. One of them is called the Liberian, which are the traditional uh, Celtic rainforest lichens, big flappy lobes that, that hang off the trees around here. And there's the Graffidian species, which are the smoothies, the smooth bark species, which you get on the smooth hazel stems. Um, now I'm looking at a range of each of these groups um, because they tell us quite a lot about how the woodlands were managed in the past. Um, so with the, the smooth bark species, obviously they require smooth hazel stems. So you'll get the smooth hazel stems if there's been flushes of regen at the base and the stems are not too old, whereas if it's very humid, very older stems become colonised by mosses and then by this other suite of species, the liberian, the flappy lobes. Um, so it's good to have a range of both of those for maximum biodiversity within a woodland. So these very old established stands of hazel, uh, which have not been coppiced, tend to have a good suite of both of these these species. This suite of lichens are a rainforest lichen, so clues in the name, I suppose, the rain. They're like quite wet with very mild winters. Um, and the other thing is, um, woodlands in Argyll have not been quite as intensively managed as down in the south of England. In the south of England, lots of the hazel would have been coppice for coppice products. Now up here, the, the latest thinking is that that wasn't happened on that industrial scale. Uh, people would still obviously use bits of the woods, often often for sheltered grazing, which is fully compatible generally with these uh, sweeter species, as long as the grazing levels aren't too high for too long. There was certain levels of cutting within the woods, but it was usually selective cutting where people would go in and choose particular stems. And it's quite interesting, I was, I was chatting to one of the crofters just the other day, and he remembers use of his woodland um, in this way with selective cutting. He didn't mention anything to do with coppicing of the whole stools. He said that what they would do is they would go in, cut particular stems, and they would use them to make a tripod which they would then dry the hay on. They'd use the same hazel stems for a year or two running. Uh, they'd use it, save them and use them the next year, and then they would have to go in and cut suitably sized stems again for use. We're collecting other information in this project, which is to do with um, how the hazel stands are, are doing, what, what's the condition that they're in. Um, are they regenerating well? In west of Scotland, we've, we've got populations of species which are rare in Europe. Um, so we've got a, a responsibility there, I think, to conserve the, the lichen interest that we have within these woods. Um, are they given the, the right sort of conditions which will lead to a good lichen flora and, and hopefully for this hazel gloves fungus as well?